All right, let's go. We are hitting up Arby's the day after Christmas, and you're probably seeing this video the day after Christmas. So what's that? December 26th, Arby's has dropped this uh, Cheddar-thon because they came out with the, um, what do you call those things? Mac and cheese bites. They also brought something back that I pulled up and I'm like, we got to try this. So I'm having two videos today, I believe, if time allows. So the first one, you've come to it. It is the uh, cheddar fish sandwich. Is that what it's called? It's called the fish and cheddar sandwich. I did this three or four years ago. We're going to check it out again. Cue the intro. What is up, everyone? It is the endorsement, and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive. All right, $4.39, but if you got the uh, cheddar thon, you could have added a beef and cheddar sandwich or those mac and cheese cheddar bites uh, for $7, so three fifty dollars each. Um, yeah, so you could have saved yourself a little bit. I decided to not save myself a little bit because I did not want the cheddar bites. I just wanted to focus on the sandwich three years after it launched, and here it is, a post-Christmas present for me. Crispy fish, you see it right there? You see it right there? All right. All right, like I said, this is the fish and cheddar sandwich. Oh, all right. Does cheese belong on fish? Does it? That's the question. That's the question we're posing. Here is the stringy lettuce. Let me fix a little bit of this. All right, so there you go. There's the sandwich. A lot of lettuce. You see the cheese dripping off right there. And that is what we got going on. So I'm probably going to move to a different location because the sun decided to come out. This is this is how it's been lately. But let's check out the sandwich. Here we go. All right, so that was easy. We just moved locations, got into a shady spot in case the sun wants to rear its head, which I would welcome. All right, so there you go. There is the sesame seed bun, and we're gonna see if I like this better than I did uh, three or four years ago. I don't know, what else is on here? Tartar sauce, the fish, the lettuce, and cheddar cheese. Let's take a bite. All right, we're gonna take a bite. I'm excited, kind of. I haven't, <laughs> I'm excited. Kind of. You see, I snuck that in there, but I have not had a fish sandwich uh, in a while, so wish me luck. There it is, sticking its uh, tongue out at you. Back for a limited time, says so on their app, the cheddar and fish or fish and cheddar sandwich. Let's go. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Nice crunch on the outside. Decent uh, fish flavor. Hmm. I'm tasting the cheese. <clears throat> I remembered three or four years ago, I think they didn't put enough cheddar on this for me. So it kind of defeated the purpose. You have a decent amount of cheddar. Most of it is on the bun right there. And there you go right there. Um... Maybe not so much on the back end right here. You know all about the back end. Um, nice fresh flavor of like cod or uh, pollock. Is that what uh, they use over here? Huh. It's pretty good. And I enjoy, I'm one of the people that enjoys uh, this type of lettuce because this is what uh, Publix subs puts on their subs. I enjoy it. Some people do not. But it kind of reminds me when you eat a fish sandwich of something like a coleslaw, if that makes any sense. Let's take another bite. There's a lot, of, a lot of cheese in this section right there. I don't know if a lot is the word, but there's a decent amount to get a full effect of cheese on a fish sandwich. Mm hmm Oh, yeah. Cheese. Huh. I don't know. It's a decent crunch. 
Nice flavor of fish, decent size filet, $4.39. That's a pretty good price too. Tartar sauce on point. Yeah, you can see the tartar sauce right there. Yeah, more on the back end. Again, always about the back end. Let me take another bite. It's a decent sandwich. I'm kind of uh, digging it. Uh, to me, cheese, I usually leave it, but if it's coming on this, $4.39, limited time, you know, it's not too bad. And that's a really nice piece of uh, fish right there. Look at that. All right, I don't know. Gotta go back and watch that video I did uh, three or four years ago to see how much I really enjoyed this. But um, the bun is fresh. Not bad, not bad, Arby's. Final bite. All right, so like I said, $4.39, but you can get this sandwich part of that cheddar thon uh, that they have, either a beef and cheddar or those um, fried cheddar bites. Um, is it mac and cheese? Fried mac and cheese, cheddar bites, and this sandwich. You get two of them uh, on the app or um, at the window at the Squawk Box, and it's $7. So that's not a bad deal, especially if this is $4.39, so you're saving $0.89 cents right off the bat from the sandwich. And I'm forgetting how much those um, bites were, but whatever they were, they were overpriced. They were overpriced. So this is pretty good. I'm going to give it a rating. I'm actually surprised how well I enjoyed that, because normally cheese on fish, no. And I know McDonald's, I know what they do over there. Don't don't at me. I know what they do over there. And some people love that fish sandwich. I am not one of them. I'm okay with it. I can't remember the last time I've just bought that sandwich uh, over at the Clown. But um, all right, let's give this one a rating on a scale of 1 to 100, with 1 meaning don't even waste your money, and 100 being the promised land of... I'm going to give the cheddar and fish, or the fish and cheddar uh, sandwich, limited time, I think they just launched it uh, today, the day after Christmas, a rating of... Whew. I don't know, that's like a, for a fast food fish sandwich, tongue twister, at that price, that's like an 89. And I can't believe I'm giving that. I got to go back, uh, like I said, and watch it from three years ago. I'm pretty sure that one was three years ago. Um, I liked it. I liked it. You saw it. I told you about it. There you go. Another review in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media, getting the word on my channel out to the masses. In closing, there you go. Arby's out here on the day after Christmas launching the two for seven cheddar thon and they also brought back this one that's in the bag that I'm going to film uh, right now man they give me a lot of sauces I got horsey sauce Arby's sauce Arby's horsey spicy three pepper spicy three pepper Arby's holy cow Arby's what are you doing and what's oh this one again the Bronco I've never tried the Bronco. I was thinking about filming a quick little uh, video on that and the receipt. Do you want to see what this is? It's a LTO and it's hefty. Look at this. It's saying it's special. It's special. All right, stay tuned later in the day for that one. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. I already said that.